I was pretty messed up and I was pretty traumatized because of the horrors of the war, um, people dying and all the different things uh, we had to go through. So I grew up in Rwanda. Uh, my parents uh, were students uh, in uh, Europe and then uh, they returned back to Rwanda. A very happy, pleasant, uh, pleasant childhood. We were one of the uh, privileged families in, uh, there. My father, he was the chief of staff and uh, we grew up uh, knowing both the uh, city life and also he used to take us a lot where he grew up in very humble circumstances. Then my childhood got disturbed by the war uh, that had started actually when I was 10, but then it's at age 13 uh, that we had uh, the whole massacres happening in April 1994, and I was there, and uh, that's how we actually ended up fleeing, and uh, my dad was assassinated the first day. So we fled um, my mom and my siblings um, to Belgium through different countries of Africa. We lost actually everything too. We arrived in Belgium, we had almost nothing, and my mom you know, pushed me and my sisters to work hard and to basically try to be self-reliant on, on, self on our own. So I had a good youth, uh, but on, it was also pretty um, tough. When I came to UVU myself, it was in 2008. Because I studied uh, transportation management and logistics in Europe, which kind of is in the business field, what you guys call supply chain and operations management, business school started the logic place. So that's how I ended up um, joining the school. And I loved it because every single class I've learned was applicable. My most profound classes I found really helpful for me were marketing, uh, the marketing class. And then and the career uh, success, I don't know if that's the name you guys have for that class anymore, but it was really like a career development class that really helped me to know what's the next steps uh, for me as I'm envisioning my career. When I finished at UVU later, I did get a master's in public administration. So I do a lot of community building things and it goes through education. I did do also another degree in education. So for some years I, I was teaching actually elementary school in French immersion because I'm a French speaker. I teach dance, uh, African dance, and also the community. Uh, we created uh, with Go My Africa, the nonprofit organization I founded when uh, I was in school um, about seven years ago. So our organization uh, is a nonprofit with the purpose to really help the community of Utah and the community of the African diaspora to be able to share the cultures of Africa. Really the advice is take advantage of all the resources you have on campus. The school was my community. It was a, a, like a home, an extension from home because I didn't know anyone, but the fact that I was attending school, I started networking, I started making friends, and I started being able to also build uh, some skills like leadership because I did get involved into the African club. Like getting involved is, is really important because you get to learn more about yourself and develop yourself and also give back to the community, the campus community, basically.